we're not talking about having more criminal women. It's our incarceration rate. It's our response to crime. There just is the belief that we ought to lock them up, throw away the key. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Most of these women in prison are there because they have a drug addiction. The cycle of abuse is something we all have to pay attention to. Substance abuse. Domestic violence. Child abuse. What have I lost? <laughs> lost my best friend, for one thing. I mean, Rob and I can talk about anything together. This is a book I started with her the day she was born. I compiled it and gave it to her as I, when she got married and said, here's your life now. <laughs> She was well-rounded. I mean, she was into everything. English, she got an F, but usually A's and B's. This is her wedding album. 17 when she got married. She sent me a couple of pictures from prison, but kind of sad to see her there, you know. Just. Still let her know I left her, even though, you know, there was nothing I could do. Drugs isn't something that kids wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to start doing drugs. I'm going to become a drug addict. That's not what they want. It's an illness, and people need to deal with it as such. When you're on methamphetamine and everything, it's like, it's like you want that feeling all the time. All your troubles to go away. But once you come down, they're still there. One day I had a bad day and I just, I got back into it again after being clean for four years. She's never come out and really told me why she went into it. What was occurring in your life that made you start using drugs? Abuse. It was all the abuse. I had been abused, like, as far as I can remember, I had been being abused. I was sexually abused as a child by a family member, and it just started going downhill from there. I'm going to ask you something that's a little bit difficult. Robin did say that there was some abuse going on in the household by a family member and wanted to know if you, if you and Robin ever talked about that. No. I'm never aware of anything that was going on. I had heard one time she had accused her father and him and I had words over it and everything and he said, why would I, you know? He said, I have a loving wife. I have, you know, a good family life, and why mess it up, you know? He said, I'm not like that. So we just, that was it. That was in our discussion on it, and we never talked about it again. She still doesn't want to face it to this day, you know? I can remember grabbing hold of my mom's leg and telling my mom, please don't go. I was homesick from school one day. And I kept telling her, Mama, please don't leave me. Don't leave me here. And she went ahead and went anyways because I knew what was coming. I knew. It is hard to talk about. And, you know, so many women, when they get raped, they don't talk about it because they feel degraded, I guess. Plus the fact that who would believe them? You know, it just, I don't know. I was abused by a cousin when I was younger. I was like four or five years old and he raped me. He said, if I tell mom and dad that, you know, he'd deny it, that mom and dad wouldn't believe me. And maybe in my mind, I feel like it, maybe I did deserve it, you know. 
Yeah. But yeah, I think when Robin gets out, maybe we need to sit and talk about it. Part of this documentary, we're really trying to explore why it is that women go to jail at such a high rate here in the state of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And and why it is that a lot of women turn to drugs. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just that I wish people would realize, you know, that they didn't choose this life. They looked down upon people instead of trying to get them help. They just automatically write them off. Needs a better understanding of why they do them and get help. What we know about the women in our prison is about two thirds of them were physically or sexually abused as children. We should be providing mental health services, substance abuse services. Unless we adopt some serious criminal justice reforms, this is just going to continue on the wrong path. They need help. They don't need prison. It all needed to come out. It's all a part of healing. I'm done. I just want to live a normal life without the drugs. That's what I want.